Hey folks, it's Finn. It's that time of year again, folks. We're at Glastonbury Festival, yes. And I get to be cheeky because I have friends who have a camper van and camper vans come in on the Tuesday night ready. So I camp with them on the Tuesday night and then we get up early in the morning, those of us that are camping, and queue up at the gates on Wednesday morning. Usually the gates open at eight, but there's rumors it might open at seven, six, I think. So we're gonna get up early and get ready to get in. But look, this is our home for the night. So this is where the magic happens on a Tuesday night when you're camping in the camper fields. And look at this view. Let me turn the camera around. Hang on. Sorry, morning. It's half four in the morning and we've joined the queue at Gate C. Now last year this was like just like the entrance bit. Now this goes right the way back. It's massive. So Gould knows what time we're going to get in. Gates are supposed to open at eight but room is open at six. But I don't know with this queue hopefully we'll get in early. Let's in. I need coffee. Folks we're in. Thank goodness. <laughs> I've lost the other two, but they camp in a little bit away from me. Right, let's head and get pitched. Nine o'clock and I'm in. Pitched. Moved up slightly a little bit this time, so I'm just in front of the pyramid, say to the side. But this is nice, look, it's a little bit cordoned off, so I know where I'm going when I get lost in the night. So now, just have to make it all pretty and home, and then I think I'm gonna have a kip. So I've had a kit, I'm now ready. For those new to Glastonbury, there is still plenty going on on a Wednesday, even though the live stages don't start. There's still loads to see and do. There's loads of stuff still being put together, so I'm gonna take you for a walk through and just see little bits as they're starting to be built up. So as you can see, everyone's really busy getting in, getting themselves set up, getting the stressful bit over with. And then you're free to roam, which is what makes Glastonbury so amazing compared to every other festival. Lots of other festivals you have to park, camp outside the gates, but at Glastonbury, once you're in, you're in and you are free to roam wherever you please, which is amazeballs. So today, you've watched my vlogs, my Wednesday just is about wandering, seeing what's different over the years. There's quite a few things that have been changed up this year, so I'm quite interested to see what they are. I'm just wandering aimlessly today, just getting myself reacquainted with a place that I call home. My favourite places to hang out is the fields of Avalon. Loads of acoustic music, loads of different stuff. Let's go and have a look what's going on today.
And that brings us rather nicely out here to the sacred circle where it all happens on a Wednesday. Hello, hello, hello. So yeah, this brings us out to the sacred circle where fireworks happen tonight, drumming, all sorts of wonderful, lovely stuff which marks the start of the festival. It's always a really beautiful place to be. And I'm gonna go and find some friends. Nothing really happens much until the sun goes down, so I'm going to wander up and give you the best view in the world, in my humble opinion. It's what I do every Wednesday. First things first, after I've got myself set up, eaten, refreshed, as I take the walk I've just taken you through, up to this hill here, and I'll show you the view. <laughs> One very out of breath thin. Right, are you ready for this view? Come on then. Gets me every single time. This is my tenth year this year, and that view never ceases to make me all emotional. It's home. <laughs> I love this place so much. There's quite a bit of new stuff happening this year. So if you can see this green area behind me here, this large kind of green bit, that is Glastonbury Pier, would you believe? It's a huge 70 meter construction of a pier. So it's Glastonbury on sea. So I'm really excited to go and see that. And if you see over here, there's a big crane just over here. That was where the Arcadia spider was where it's now a new area called Pangaea. I'm not quite sure what's going on over there. I'm gonna go and have a look. So let's take a wander down the hill, and check out those two areas. So as you can see, work's still going on here, but that's what happens Wednesday and Thursday. You'll still see stuff being finished. So right now you're just getting a little look at 
what is to come in the next couple of days. I'm excited. So this behind me is the Ribbon Tower and this area is the park. So we're going to take a little wander around here and we're going to have a look at Pangaea. So we're now to where the spider is no more. It's going to be a weird place to bring out the spider, but whatever this is, I'm excited to see. Right, it's coming up to three o'clock, so I'm going to go and get myself some grub, get myself ready to head to the stone circle for this evening's opening fireworks. As you can see, it's starting to liven up a bit now. And as you can also see, <laughs> Finn has got himself sunburned after telling everybody to be careful and wear sunscreen. Guess who you didn't put any on this morning? Oops. So it's getting up to, just coming up to seven o'clock. I'm meeting everybody up for eight o'clock for the stone circle. But I'm just gonna show you a little bit around here. This is kind of Greenpeace, Green Futures, the healing fields. It's really busy around here at the moment, loads going on. So I'm just sitting here chilling out. <laughs> I've had loads of people wander up to me and recognise me from YouTube, which is new for me for Glastonbury. So that's been fun, meet lots of new folks. So it's Wednesday night, which is the best night in my humble opinion. It's Stone Circle night, which is what is behind me. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn the camera around a bit. You've got people dancing on the stones and drumming going on. The sun's going down. My face is bright red, never mind. I don't know how clear the sky is going to be tonight for a sunset, but whatever happens, there'll be drumming, there'll be fireworks, it'll be beautiful. We have fire. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other glass review videos and all my other vlogs too. If you'd like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourselves. See you again.